Hello and welcome to my non-stop wrestling chat. My name is Barry and this is your Friday Night Smackdown review. I know Smackdown was pre-recorded on the Tuesday and put up on the Friday. I was meant to be in the audience but things came up and I just wasn't able to get there. Anyway guys, <laughs> you're joining me in a different location, backspace, stuff like that. But um, yeah, we're going to get it done. So before we get into today's show, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that beautiful notification bell. And I'm sure you'll be glad to see that the Christmas jumpers are gone. <laughs> I've got a nice Johnny Cash outlaw t-shirt on today. Um, they're going to be returning next year, uh, from December the 1st. So you have that to look forward to. But um, yeah, unfortunately, they're away. <laughs> right, so let's get into today's show. So we kick off the show with a steel cage match for the Universal title. Roman Reigns with Paul Heyman versus Kevin Owens. Roman Reigns picked up the win here. What a match, guys. Literally was a really, really good match. Gave it 3.5 stars. A hell of an opening to a show. A really great opening. And I'm really enjoying Reigns and Owens' work, honestly. Um, something to tide us over to, hopefully, uh, say like a, a Drew McIntyre, Roman Reigns, cross-brand feud, maybe, or something like that. But, uh, yeah, really cool match. Then we had a whole segment with Charlotte, Ahsoka, Bailey, Sasha, Camilla, everybody pretty much they could get in the ring because, you know, a match. <laughs> so we've got a triple threat elimination tag team bout for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Ahsoka and Charlotte versus Sasha and Bianca Belair versus Bailey and uh, Camilla. Ahsoka and Charlotte obviously picked up one back up here. 2.5 stars, guys. It was a solid match, but it felt a wee bit overcomplicated. Like, it was just chaotic in places. But, um, I just question what was the point in this. I really... I really do question what was the point in this match at all, being here. But it was still a fun match. Then we had Daniel Bryan versus Jey Uso. Daniel Bryan got the win here. Three stars. I know I've probably overplayed this, but it was a really good... I love the aggressive... The aggressiveness of Jey Uso here. It was a really good match. The one thing that I would say is maybe, just maybe, there should there would be a feud between Brian and Jey Uso um, for a few months and then give Brian and Reigns so we give the Owens and Reigns time to play out. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm not sure what's going to happen with that, but let's hope that's how it kind of works out. Then we get the Intercontinental title Lumberjack match. Sami Zayn versus Big E. Big E picked up the win here. I'm so happy to see this guy get the win here. He deserves it more than anything. You know, I gave this 2.5 just because he picked up the win. It probably was a two, two star match. Lumberjack matches are hard to get, get over for anybody, guys. It's not just something that they do. It's just hard to get over a Lumberjack match. But um, yeah, 2.5 stars. Big E celebrates after it. There's confetti and that ends the show. It was awesome. Honestly, I really, really enjoyed it. Overall, I'm giving it 3 stars. You know, it was a really good show last night. There was good matches, good segments, good wrestling. It was enjoyable. Uh, when I got up this morning to watch it, I was... Up at 4am watching it and it was just such a good good show. I had no complaints whatsoever with it. Like I said, I thought it was just a really, really good, interesting show. Um, so, see this is the one thing with WWE is you, we've had months and months and months of, I know this is they're starting to do the build to the Royal Rumble, but we've had months of just subpar content, subpar wrestling content. And they get to this point and they start to put on a good show during Christmas Day probably not a lot of people were watching wrestling last night um, and it's just they have the talent they have the they can do it they honestly can do whatever they have to do but the problem is do they want to they don't have competition and I think that's the best thing about AEW coming up a little, um, it's kind of giving them, it's kind of giving them that boost of, it's kind of giving them that kick up the arse, like we can't just rest on the fact that we're WWE, 
with people teaming up, like Impact Wrestling and AEW teaming up. You've got New Japan Wrestling, AAA, all those kind of stuff all kind of coming together. They know they need to put on the best show possible. And I'm excited, guys. Like I say, I just enjoy wrestling. There's rumours that Armageddon's coming back. So, uh, let's hope it's good. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed your Christmas. I hope you're having a good Boxing Day. I will see you here tomorrow for the the Raw Watch Along. I think it's 1993, March 29th. Not 100% sure. Then Monday we've got the WCW Watch Along. So I hope you enjoy that. And uh, yeah, thanks for all your support, guys. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell. Send this out to people that you think would enjoy this wrestling content. And um, yeah, let's support wrestling and let's make wrestling good again. <laughs> see you later, guys.